Pinterest sends a significant amount of website traffic to my blog. In this video, I'll break down how that happens and point out a few easy ways you can use this platform to increase traffic to your blog. Let's do it. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today we're talking Pinterest, specifically how to use this tool to drive more traffic to your blog. Pinterest is perfect for that. It's among the top three platforms that I prioritize for my own brand, along with YouTube and Instagram. But Pinterest is more unique among the social media platforms because it's the only one designed to take users off the platform itself to get information that people are looking for elsewhere. Think of it as a visual search engine. I'll hop over now to my computer and walk through some of the ideas for you that will increase blog traffic. So I'll break this down into a few steps. The first step being you need to find content that is pinnable. So the best place to go would be your website if you have one and that's where I am right now taking a look at some of the content I've got here that might work well on Pinterest. So blog, that's definitely one that would work well on Pinterest. So actually creating pins that are rich pins linked to my blog. That is definitely an obvious choice. I could also hop over to my podcast and pinning podcast episodes is a great way to get your content that you're working hard to create if you have one on a searchable platform like Pinterest. So I can definitely add these, break out some topics related to the topic of the episode, and that will make a lot of sense. Let's keep going. What else have I got? I have freebies. So these I have to entice people to sign up for my email list, but this these are great for Pinterest, right? Just create a few little pins uh, that would link to uh, dedicated signup pages. You're looking at one where I've got them all on one page, but these can link to dedicated signup pages, uh, promoting some of my freebies. So that would get people from Pinterest over to my email list. Finally, if I click over to projects, this is one you might not think about. If you're a graphic designer, a photographer, a branding agency like me, then actually adding some of your client work, your projects over on Pinterest might make a lot of sense. Maybe their industry examples, um, you know, for a niche or, you know, branding inspiration, really. Um, there's so many possibilities here to make this worth your while and to drive some traffic to your website and your blog. Moving right along to step two, that is to create pin designs in your favorite graphic design tool. Mine is Adobe Express. I've already opened that up. You can see my first pin design here, which is honestly a template that I created in Adobe Express with my brand colors, my brand fonts. So if you click over here on design, you'll see as I start to select individual elements that I've already set my brand fonts and my brand colors. If I click here, I can access those right away. And that's what I love about about Adobe Express. It's just a really sophisticated interface and it's just a honestly a great tool um, to design pins. So another recommendation would be don't just create one pin design. Really think about how you can use a variety of designs. Um, let's go ahead and adjust the text here. Best LinkedIn summary examples. Okay. And again, this template is set up. So it's really easy for me to quickly add the title. I could add a little bit of text here if I wanted. Sometimes I'll put my blog URL so it's visible. And sometimes I'll actually include a keyword. Now, if you don't have a brand, don't fret. You can still log into Adobe Express, uh, which is free to try. You can actually just search all templates up here and search by Pinterest and you're literally gonna get thousands of designs that you can start from and adapt it however you want. I love this one, so I'm gonna click this. These are already sized, optimized for Pinterest, and again, just really beautiful designs, really, really beautiful curation of designs in this platform. Great fonts, great colors that are already set up for you. And here, this even has an animation, which is super, super cool and absolutely possible to carry this over to Pinterest and definitely help make it stand out. Next, clicking over to my blog for step three, which is adding the pin that you just designed to your blog post. So there you go, you see it right here. I just have it at the bottom. You can add it anywhere. Sometimes I'll integrate it into the actual body of the, the design, or I just put it down at the bottom. It's fairly common on blog posts nowadays to see a pin image, right? An image that's designed, optimized for someone to be able to pin this from your website. Now I should note, it's not required that you 
save the image that you created, you could go directly to Pinterest and upload this. However, having the image actually on your website entices other people to be able to share it. That you miss out on if you just upload the image and attach the link on Pinterest.com. So definitely consider having this image on your blog post so that others can share it as well. Hopping over to Pinterest.com for step number four, that is creating a new pin. So that's all I've done is I've clicked up here, create pin, and it takes me to this screen. Now, based on what I just said, rather than uploading the image, adding a title and a description, we would instead click this uh, down here. I'll remove the link so you can see it again. It's this save from site, which means I'm pasting the URL for the blog post that we just added that image to. And there we go. It's pulling in all the images from that blog post. And the one that I want is right there, which is the pin. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. And now I would just set a title. So the best LinkedIn summary examples. Okay. They recommend at least 40 characters. So that's getting me pretty close. Uh, if you're looking for the best LinkedIn summary examples, check out, check out this post with examples of LinkedIn summaries. And I could continue on there. And so th this is saying at least 50 characters. People, that's what they see, right? So generally you'll get an idea it's about this range so you want the most enticing keywords there i could probably go even further here um, and add lots of keywords another opportunity would be alt text so this is really intended for accessibility right people that use for example screen readers but it's another opportunity for seo alt text is always good for seo so uh, best linkedin summary examples um, for coaches, consultants, and professionals, right? I'm just I'm adding in some keywords here. I could beef this up a little bit more. This is just a YouTube video with an example. Um, and so that's how you get it on Pinterest to publish. I would literally click this publish button and it's gonna go straight to Pinterest. And now hopping over to my profile for my final tip. This is tip number five. You wanna make sure you're not just creating content on Pinterest, but you're also curating content. This is really important. So I can filter on my profile or anyone's profile by created. This is content I've created. So there's that pin we talked about a second ago. You wanna make sure though that you're not just creating content, you're also curating content, right? If it's just you creating content, posting content about yourself, it's a little bit like an advertisement every single day, nonstop. So instead, you really wanna be mixing in your content that's relevant with boards that include more than just your own pins, right? It can be other resources, other sources of inspiration. A huge, huge part of Pinterest is curating, not just creating. So you're gonna want a nice little combo of both. Make sure you're curating content that becomes useful for you or for others, mixed in with content that you create yourself. And this is hopefully gonna drive some traffic to your blog. There you go. Some ways to increase traffic to your blog using Pinterest, which by the way, is always one of the top refers of traffic to my website. I'm a big believer in this platform if you are a marketer. If you've got any lingering questions about Pinterest, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next. Bye.